Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of the properties of operations. This is standard 6.7D in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 9 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So there's two different properties that we are going to need to understand today. So the associative property is sometimes called the grouping property. It means that you can group things uh, differently, like all of these parentheses here, changing kind of the grouping of what you're adding first, what you're multiplying first, and the answer will still stay the same. And then the other one we need is the commutative. So the commutative property is more about the order. So you can change the order. 3 plus 4 is the same as 4 plus 3. And your answer will stay the same. So we have a whole bunch of y's in here. And so let's just make y equal 2. That's just going to be simple. You could do y equals 1, but sometimes anything times 1, it doesn't really change. And it can get you some false positives. So make it something small, but don't make it 1. I would suggest 2. So let's just look at a right here. So I'm going to look at this first expression, 4 plus 3 times 2. I replaced the y with a 2, so that's going to be 4 plus 3 times 2 is 6, so that makes 10. Let's see what that next expression looks like. 4 plus 3, so they changed the grouping there, and so they, they put the times 2 on the outside, so that's going to make 7 times 2, and that makes 14. So you notice how they changed the grouping? They, they group these together. They changed from a multiplication to an addition. That's definitely going to change it. You have to keep the same operation if you're going to change the grouping. So that is incorrect. Let's look at B. So we've got 18 divided by y is going to equal 2 plus 10. So 18 divided by 2, that is going to make 9, plus 10, so that makes 19. And we'll see what the other one looks like. So we've got 10 plus, now we've got 2, so they change the order. But you know what, you can't change the order on subtraction and division. You can only change the order, the commutative property. You can do that with addition, you can do that with multiplication, because look, you're going to get... 2 divided by 18, that's going to be 2 eighteenths. That's just the best way to show that is as a fraction. So 10 and 2 eighteenths, I've made a mixed number. Not even close. So let's hope it's C or D here. So C, 12 minus, let's make this 2, times another 2. All right, so 12 minus 2 times 2 is 4. 12 minus 4 is 8. And then we've got the other one is 12 minus 2 times, we're going to change the y to 2, that looks exactly the same. So that's going to be 12 minus 4, that's going to be 8. I think C might be your answer. Now you might be thinking that I didn't write it correctly. Well, I made my y equals 2, but look what we did here. This is using the commutative property. 2 times y, y times 2, they just flipped the order. But it stayed the same because it's with multiplication. That's going to work with either addition or multiplication. Let's look at D here. So D, 10 minus 6 divided by 2, because my Y is 2. So that's going to be 4 divided by 2. So that makes 2. And then we are, they changed the grouping here. So now 10 on the outside, minus 6 divided by 2. So 10 minus 6 divided by 2 is 3, so that makes 7. That is incorrect here. See, we changed the grouping, but look, you changed the operation. You grouped you grouped a subtraction, and then you changed the grouping, and you changed it to a grouping a division. You cannot change the operation if you're going to use the associative property. That's what happened here with A. You started by having a multiplication, and you change the grouping to an addition. That doesn't work, so our answer is C.